Hi all, welcome to the learner's piece. In this session, we are going to learn a very interesting topic, which is nothing but conditional statement, if. In our day-to-day -day life, we have a lot of conditions within ourselves. We say, if you eat well, you will be healthy. It is again a condition. Similarly, we have a conditional statement called if in our coding language. This is available in any coding language. If this happens, you do that. If that happens, you don't do that. It goes like that. So, we are going to have conditional statements to analyze and direct our code based on the conditions true or false value. We would have learnt about the Boolean data type which has only two values, say true or false. That is going to be applied here now. It's time for us to understand the Boolean data type better too. Now, when we speak about if condition, we have four different ways of using it. One is simple if, which is very, very simple. It says, if the condition is satisfied, go and execute the block. That's it. The next, next is if else. It again gives a second option. If the condition is satisfied, you execute this block. And if the condition is not satisfied, means or else, you execute the false block. This is the syntax for it. Now, whatever you see here is nothing but the syntax. We will be implementing it with some examples and post that I shall be giving you some exercises to keep your knowledge on this very robust. Then comes the else if ladder. Else if ladder is nothing but you have a single else condition, right? Similarly, here we give lots of opportunities, I can say, in, an, in other words. Uh, we say condition 1 initially. If that condition 1 succeeds, we give uh, or we make sure that this first true block is executed and you exit from that. If that condition is not satisfied, it moves on and it moves, it looks for another condition. We give another condition. If that is satisfied, you go ahead and execute this particular block. If that is also not satisfied, again, we give a third condition and so on we can get. Whichever condition is satisfied, the block under it will be executed. And finally, we can also give, we also have the option of providing an else condition which will be met if any of these conditions are not satisfied. That is, condition 1 also says false, condition 2, that also results in false, 3 results in false and so on. Finally, no condition is met, then it comes to else block and the final false block for all conditions is going to be executed. After that, the control comes to end if and the execution ends there. Then we have nested if, that is, if inside if, again if inside if, the if inside if can be any kind of uh, if condition which we have seen in our previous lines of code. It can be simple if or it can be an if with an else condition or an uh, if with multiple else if conditions. And this then statement after the condition is very, very important without which it results in a syntax error. And again, you can find statements in red color which do not follow the syntax. Here, just because I have uh, entered the syntax, I have used some optional symbols. Uh, whatever is within square brackets is optional here. So when I say optional, uh, I miss the syntax here. Okay. So this is just for just just to explain to you about the syntax. You don't have to use any square brackets here. So let us try these with some examples. For simple if I just overwrite on the syntax so that we can save time on videos. Okay, so my condition one. Let me comment out the rest of the lines of code so that I can explain it one by one to you. I'll use the comment block option. Let me declare two variables dim a and dim b. Okay, I Okay, since I've used a comma, I don't have to use dim statement again. I'll say a will be 3 and b will be 6. Now, if I give my condition as if a is greater than b, then the true block, okay? Or let's say message box a, okay? So, I want to print the number which is great. So, uh, I just say if a is greater than b, is it true? 
three greater than six nodes false. So this message A will, I mean, A three will not be printed here. Okay, nothing happens. You see, I have run it, but nothing happens. But if I say, if I declare A to be nine, now this is bigger, so nine will be displayed in the message box. This is the difference. Let me give the old value to understand the second type of if condition, if else. Okay, I'll uncomment this block. To understand this, we say if A is greater than B, you display A or else you will be displaying B. Okay, whichever is bigger that will be displayed. So, let's see how the control comes using the breakpoint and the watch window. Let me add the watch A. I'm sorry, A and I'll add watch B. Let me add the condition also here. Condition is A greater than B. You can find the boolean value also here. So, I'm going to execute this. Oh, there's a spelling mistake here. So let me correct it and try executing it again. The control has come here. The value of A is 3 and B is 6. Is A greater than B? It's false. So, if, if it is false, the control will go to else. I press F8 and see the control goes else. It has skipped message box A because the true block will not be executed when the condition results in false. Okay. So when I press F8, now false block is going to be executed because the result of this condition is false or the value of this condition is false. F8, yeah, this has been executed and I go to end of end sum. Okay. Similarly, now let's see, uh, reverse the condition and see how it works. If B is going to be greater than A, what happens? Control comes here. Again, condition, uh, if B is greater than A, what is the value of B? It is 6. What is the value of A? It is 3. So now let's check the watch value of this particular condition. Yes, it's true. So the true block would be executed. F8, F8, click on OK. End if and sub. This is how your if else block works. Okay. And make sure that you always align the indent and align the lines of code. Your else if ladder. Now to understand this else if ladder, let's use only one variable here. We'll use uh, the variable A itself, but we'll change the value here. We'll change it to 13 so on a variable one now we'll say if a is greater than 5 then message box will be a is greater than 5 okay else if it is not greater than 5 i'm sorry we'll make it less than okay less than 5 oh, then we'll have an else condition saying else if oh, if a is less than 10 okay so if it is less than 10 and we'll have one more condition we can also use other conditions using and and or so i'll use if it is less than 10 and it is greater than 5 then that is if it is between 5 and 9 okay so if it is between 5 and 9 then i'll say my message box would be a is between 5 and 10. Let me include 5 also here. Since it's not included here, I include 5 less than or equal to okay, 5. And my third else would be I'll make it between, uh, I'll make it a is greater than or equal to 10 or sorry and 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 a is less than 15 then then is already there so we we'll move to true block the message box will display a is between 9 and 50 okay 
I will remove this else else so uh, if it is not less than 5 or if it is not within 15 then it should be greater than 15 right so we will put our message box like this message box would be is greater than or equal to 15 fine let's see how it gets executed I'll place the breakpoint there run it now my a, I all that I need is my a value and my conditions okay this condition at watch at watch but I want the addition of other conditions okay that's false if a is less than or equal to 5 is that true no because it is 13 so this will be bypassed now this condition again this condition is going to be false because one is false and the other is true but both should be true only then that will be true because I have used the and keyword here now this is also going to be false so I press F8 and what about these two conditions yes it false it is greater than or, uh, or equal to 10 it is 13 and it is less than 15 so it is true and this would be executed this block would be executed so it meets end of file so this is how it works you can try giving different values and you can try changing your conditions also you can try using or condition instead of and and see how it works to use or condition or and condition it is better to use brackets at the end of the condition so that uh, you will be very clear if you use or again then you can use something like this or is greater than or equal to 20 and uh, a is less than or equal to 30 you want to give something like this you can also try it this way it should be working i have just shown you how you can use or keyword and and keyword or a mixture of both so this is how it works so you can try using various values now let's see how the nested if works to see the nested if let's add one more variable here and uh, we'll assign a value to it say 4 here we'll see if a is greater than b and in my second condition if a is going to be greater than c also then i'll say a a is the biggest or else it means that a is greater than b but not greater than c so c should be the greatest so i'll put an else condition and message box here c is the biggest okay similarly Just remove these uh, syntaxes so that we can avoid confusion. Similarly, I'll just paste this so that we can easily edit it. If A is going to be sorry, if A is greater than B, if that is false, it means B is greater than A. Correct. So in my else condition, it's very clear that B is greater than A. If B is greater than A, I need to check if B is greater than C. If B is greater than C, then B is the biggest. Yes, C is the biggest. Okay. So, this is how I use my nested if condition. And also, I it can go on like this. Again, I can give an L, uh, else if or if else or simple if here. So, it depends on my requirement. We'll, uh, I can give you more requirements in the exercises so that it will be interesting for you to try out different things. So, let's see how this gets executed. We know the value of A. Uh, we need the value of a, I'm sorry. We need the a value of a, then b, and of course c. So these things should be easy for us to understand a greater than c or whatever it is. If you want, you can, you can add that also in the watch window. So let's see control has come here now a greater than b that's true so it comes inside the control comes inside now a greater than c 
again that's true so the control comes here a is the biggest this is how it works now it means this and inner end f then it means the outer end f and ends up so this is how it works you can try changing the values here so that you will understand that better so watch the next video to understand or to try out the exercises please keep pause then and there to try out whatever you see thank you and have a nice day